In this video, we are going to talk about inside Drake's $100 million mansion. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. The 4,000 pound tub made of faceted black marble that was carved from a single block serves as the focal point of the master bathroom. Drake's two-story closet is just as dramatic. It is adorned with amethyst hardware and rock crystal, and the seating is upholstered in diamond-tufted shearling with polished nickel studs. It is the ideal setting for displaying the musician's vast collection of Hermes Birkin bags, as well as his huge shoe collection and extensive wardrobe, which he has been gathering over the course of many years. And the victories just keep piling up. There is the world-class recording studio, which Drake describes as being like eccentric 1970s studios mixed with Enables in London. The well-used kitchen, which features the first stove from Rafali's new line for La Cogne. The awards room, which tells the story of Drake from his childhood to his years on the Canadian television show Degrassi. The next generation to his reign as a Grammy-winning artist. The Hall of Sports jerseys displayed in museum-like vitrines. The gated multi-million dollar estate also features a 10-car garage and a spacious driveway to accommodate the Degrassi actor's extensive auto collection giving the appearance of a palace from the outside. Drake's lavish new home looks more like a palace from the outside. The city of Toronto granted their hometown hero a special permission in September of last year to build fences that are twice as high as the height that is permitted. This was done in order to maintain their privacy and ensure their safety. According to CDVN, Drake has spent over $1 million on trees that are 6 meters tall to go around the boundaries of his property so that he fits in with the neighborhood. Cribs garish, over-the-top McMansions, Aubrey Drake Graham's Toronto home differs. Drake's 50,000-square-foot mansion has a 21-square-foot pyramidal skylight and an NBA-sized indoor basketball court. However, Drake Manor, designed by Canadian architect and interior designer Ferris Rafali, is a masterpiece of old-world workmanship, built of limestone, bronze, exotic woods, and other fine materials. The property's many elements were carefully planned and executed. No Scarface posters either. The multi-award winning singer gave fans an in-depth tour of the exquisite house in his recently released music video to Z Slide, dancing through various rooms while hunkered down during the COVID-19 pandemic. The embassy boasts a 20,000-piece Swarovski crystal chandelier, lavish indoor pool, marble and limestone interiors, a custom concert grand piano, and a black marble bathtub. Drake's awards room, a wall of framed sports jerseys, and the OVO Center, an indoor NBA regulation-sized basketball court, are also in the nursery. The Toronto Raptors superfan made a perfect shot from the luxurious top level to the hoop below in a video he uploaded. When he attended a game at the OVO Center earlier this year, 44-year-old D. Jekyll was impressed with his friend's athletic complex. The Toronto Raptors superfan made a perfect shot from the luxurious top level to the hoop below in a video he uploaded. Even D. Jekyll, a 44-year-old music producer, was impressed by his friend's incredible sports complex when he visited the OVO Center earlier this year to watch a game. For times when he wants to relax, the hotline bling singer has a lavish lounge with a grand piano, a massive marble fireplace, and rows of gray sofas and chairs. Because I was building it in my hometown, I wanted it to be steady for 100 years. I wanted my passion project to have a colossal scope and vibe, Drake continues. Given that it would be one of the things he leaves behind, it had to be timeless and strong. His apartment includes a large, contemporary kitchen with a large, black and white marble island in the middle that is ideal for entertaining, and it also has an elevator. The scale of the rooms does, in fact, set the tone for the home experience the moment one enters the large entry hall which is covered in solid limestone with beveled inlays of Nero Marquina marble beneath a faceted ceiling of old mirror framed in bronze. The 44-foot-tall epic great room gives the room even more height. At one end of the space, inside a doorway encased by Macassar ebony floor-to-ceiling panels, bronze screens, and additional antique beveled mirror, is a Bosendorfer custom concert grand piano made in collaboration with the Japanese artist Takashi Murakami and Rafali. Drake had no intention of buying a piano because music is his only passion. According to Rafali, this priceless item is a genuine marriage of artistry, craftsmanship, and quality. The second jewel of the great room is the renowned Metropolitan Chandelier by Lobmere, 
which was originally designed by Hans Harald Draff for the Viennese Company to adorn the Metropolitan Opera in New York City in 1963. It is the chandelier in a huge form. The magnificent light sculpture is the second largest installation of its kind in the entire world and features more than 20,000 pieces of hand-cut Swarovski crystal. The opulent Canary Yellow Lounge, as well as a number of other rooms in the house, can be seen in Drake's music videos for his songs When to Say When Chicago Freestyle and To Z Slide. Here, the designer's allusions to the Art Deco style are even more obvious. The highlight of the room is a foliate ceiling made of concentric backlit hexagonal panels covered in faux suede doll cantara. A huge Benigni glass sunburst chandelier hangs from the ceiling in the middle of the space. All of the furniture in this room and the rest of the house was made to order by Rafali. The furnishings are made of a variety of materials, including mohair, macassar, painted ostrich skin, and bronze. Drake's favorite spot in the house is the master bedroom suite, which is 3,000, 200 square feet in size and has an additional 1,100 square feet of covered terrace space. At the end of the day, he adds, I go to my bedroom to unwind from the world, and it's also where I open my eyes to seize the day. I go to my bedroom to make the most of the day. The shower enables you to escape and gather your thoughts, the closet inspires you to have a discussion with yourself while you are getting dressed, and the bed allows you to float. God is present in the details, as he always is. The bed and bed base are from Grand Vividus, a new line by Rafali for Hastings. They have a price tag that exceeds the value of many people's whole homes and weigh about one ton. The bar, which is supplied with champagne and liquor, is on the side of the headboard opposite the headboard. An antique mirror and channel tufted leather are used to highlight it. The bedding was purchased from the rug company and has a hummingbird tapestry designed by Alexander McQueen, as well as mother of pearl inlays on the nightstands. The centerpiece of the master bathroom is a 4,000-pound tub made of faceted black marble that was carved from a single block. The two-story closet Drake has is equally spectacular. Its upholstery is covered in diamond-tufted shearling and studs made of polished nickel, and it is embellished with amethyst hardware and rock crystal. The musician's big collection of Hermes Birkin bags, as well as his sizable shoe collection and broad wardrobe, which he has amassed over a long period of time, are best displayed in this environment. And the triumphs just keep on coming. There is the top-notch recording studio, which Drake compares to eccentric 1970s studios mixed with Ennibles in London. There is also the well-used kitchen, which includes the first stove from Rafali's new line for La Quineau. There is also the awards room, which chronicles Drake's life from his early years to his time on the Canadian television program Degrassi, the next generation to his reign as a Grammy-winning musician. Finally, there is the Hall of Sports, to accommodate the Degrassi actor's large automobile collection. The guarded multi-million dollar mansion also has a 10-car garage and a roomy driveway, giving it the look of a palace from the outside. From the outside, Drake's opulent new house appears more like a palace. In September of last year, the city of Toronto granted their hometown hero special permission to erect fences that are twice as high as what is allowed. This was carried out in order to protect their safety and privacy. In order to blend in with the neighborhood, Drake reportedly spent over a million dollars on trees that are six meters tall to surround the edges of his property. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.